Okay, so I ran into a bit of a problem. Thursday and Friday, my sleep was crap. I kept, I woke up at 3 a.m. on Thursday and then like 3.30 a.m. on Friday. And Friday, like, when I got done work, I was, like, starting to fall asleep on the ride home. Like, I wasn't driving. I was in, you know, faster side of the vehicle, thank God. You know, I wouldn't drive if I was that tired. Um... Jazzy driving, super dangerous. But regardless, so I was in the passenger side, getting done work in the work van. I was getting tired, and then I came home. And because uh, I was sleep deprived, I was hungry, so I ate some food. And I fell asleep from like 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Then I woke up, and uh, you know, the, the sleep deprivation, the, the problems with the sleep started when I, as soon as I stopped eating junk food, it helped me fall asleep. And I just felt so shitty that I was like, fuck it, I'm going to eat some junk food just to make sure I fall asleep tonight. Because if I don't get proper sleep tonight, I'm fucked. Because it's just really wearing on me. Um, Probably not the proper approach. All I probably needed was carbohydrates. And then what I should have done is, um, since it was my day off, it's Saturday. If I need to fall back asleep, I should just have junk food ready if I woke up at 3 a.m. to eat to put me back to sleep. Um... And taking it with, because, uh, okay, so in the beginning, uh, when I first got real detox, <clears throat> I would take it with my first meal, which was healthy, and then with my second meal that was healthy, and then I would have a little bit of, um, like, cereal or something like Cheerios with almond milk, something with carbohydrates to help me fall asleep, um, or the, like the Kosh cereal, you know, um, but I took the real detox with it, so I woke up still having energy. Last night I had uh, the cookies. I went and got cookies. Let's see. These are my favorite. The Fudge Stripes. Fudge Stripes original from Keebler. And of course I woke up this morning and my whole body hurt. You know, I have digestive issues and I'm very sensitive to bad food. Um, so yeah, I mean, I felt like shit all morning, and uh, I only started feeling better in the last hour or so. My the P three M probiotic that I ordered, the Lipo Gold and the Magnesium Glycinate. Uh, I forgot that I locked my card when I went to purchase them. They were supposed to arrive today, but since my card was locked, that is, I made it unable to be used by anyone. The purchase didn't go through, so now I gotta wait till like Monday or Tuesday to get those, which are all helpful for digestion. Life of Gold and P3OM, P3OM will eliminate all my digestive issues. You know, Royal Detox eliminated them like 80%, but I don't know if I can use Royal, Royal, De Royal Detox long term. Um, I also noticed, yeah, that um, even when I did sleep th through the night, I uh, woke up with a little bit of sweat. Like I was sweating in my sleep, so the Royal Detox was getting rid of heavy metals. Um, and maybe, I don't know, uh, maybe if you keep you using the Royal Detox after you've gotten rid of most of the heavy metals, that might mess with your sleep. But there are other things that I'm pretty sure cause the lack of proper sleep. But yeah, I can't go two days with improper sleep. It's just falling apart, especially if you have to do physical labor. My body starts like fucking really hurting. I need better. There's stuff like AKG and other supplements and creatine that I need to be taking to help improve physical performance because I do a physically demanding job at the moment until I get my research assistant position. So I do need to get stuff like creatine and AKG that help improve uh, physical performance and help uh, with strength gains and uh, increases your um, like uh, creatine after a month increases like your ability to how much you bench press, deadlift, and squat, like 20%. So you see like a 20% gain in all your major lifts. So you're 20% stronger after a month on creatine. Um, something along those lines. So I want to get that. I want to get AKG. So I just do a little bit more research. I'll go ahead and buy those. Um, yeah, so... Uh, the beginning of my biohacking journey... It's unfortunate... It's hard to stay on top of everything when I'm working so much. I wish I would have discovered the power of 
Royal Detox and Alpha Brain together like two months ago when I wasn't working as much when I was only working like three days a week because work was slow and some weeks I went entirely without any work but I didn't have any motivation or energy so I didn't get much done uh fuck but now we got tons of work I'm even working six days a week this week I'm work, um, today's my only day off tomorrow I gotta work in the morning doing some flooring so now I'm working six days a fucking week when I'm trying to focus on getting my health together I'd rather cut back on work a little bit so I could focus more on my health and get my health together um and staying as you know maintaining how good I felt on day one and day two and you know the days before that too I felt really good um yeah I would love to be able to take a week long vacation from work just to focus on my health and figure out what other supplements will help me maintain energy and motivation and what supplements will help me maintain uh, good physical, good muscle growth, good muscle strength, and so on and so forth. And, you know, optimize my physical uh, and mental performance, and your cognitive function and emotional well-being, you know, all that. Yeah. But yeah, when you catch up on sleep, you get that sleep hangover. Like, I felt okay pretty much on the days i didn't get enough sleep but after you get enough sleep you have that sleep hangover and you just feel so fucking tired it sucks but um at least i'm making a video today i'm talking about it and keeping a health journal so i can figure out okay what variables did i change what were the results there i want to be careful with my supplements too like when i add a new supplement i want to add a new supplement one at a time and see, okay, what's the difference there? And then, you know, do reviews of P0M, do, do a review of label gold, do a review, do a review of magnesium glycinate. Magnesium glycinate is amazing for alleviating stress because um, magnesium glycinate is one of the most absorbable forms of magnesium, and uh, I found that um. After I take that, after an hour, like, I have no stress. If I'm stressed out and I take magnesium glycinate, it, like, eliminates stress. Just like the root and bomb passion or chamomile. With the right supplements and the right adaptogens, like, stress does not bother you whatsoever. You don't get stressed out. It's fucking amazing. Just the right diet, the right sleep, the right supplements, the right exercise. You can be stress-free in your life. Like, I'm all about biohacking happiness. Well, hacking happiness and you know happiness is part of happiness is um, a complete lack of pain and suffering this morning there's a lot of pain and suffering because my body hurts so fucking bad from the sleep hangover from eating junk food last night um, but you know everyone makes mistakes during the journey so other people will look back and see that you know I stumbled in the beginning too but on day 365 of uh, my biohacking uh, journey, they're going to be like, God damn, this guy is on top of everything and he's living the best life possible. Like, how can I do what he did? And I'll be fucking awesome because I'll be able to help other people see what they need to do to eliminate pain and suffering and so that they can perform to their uh, full potential in life, be stress free, maximize their cognitive performance, get rid of brain fog, you know, think more clearly, be more creative, have ideas come to you better. Um, not have any health problems, eliminate health problems through proper um, biohacking changes, changes in your environment, changes in your food, changes in your dietary supplements, changes in your exercise, changes in your sleep, changes with different treatments like neurofeedback therapy and biofeedback therapy and stem cell therapy and so on and so forth. Um, there's a lot of tools in the biohacking toolkit there. But regardless, um, yeah, I'm just rambling because I'm so fucking tired. It's hard for me to you know, really focus on um, maintaining a proper theme throughout the video, and this is just off the cuff, because I'm fucking tired of shit, but yeah, um, I hope you get a good night's sleep tonight, I think I'm gonna fast, and then, um, if not, I'll have to serve a uh, chicken with carry gold, and then, if I need uh, carbohydrates to sleep properly, I'll just uh, have a sweet potato with Kerrygold butter. I think I'll try that and see how it goes.